Chronic Disease Management, CDM for short, is available in Socrates from the patient's chart. Click Care Protocols and then select Chronic Disease Management Protocol. To start a CDM review, click Add Review. I am backdating this review for demonstration purposes only. Register the patient for any existing diseases and enter the year diagnosed. Any of the CDM diagnoses coded in the patient's chart as an active condition will be pre-populated on the registration. The diagnosis selected will be shown at the top of the review. Any details that can be populated from the patient's chart will be pre-selected, for example, baseline details. Use the ellipsis buttons to select a result if not pre-populated. Scroll through the form and complete all mandatory fields. These will be highlighted with a yellow information message. As we continue to fill out the form, we will come to the Audit C tool. Use the Audit C tool to calculate the patient's alcohol risk score. We simply answer the three questions with the answers provided in the drop down boxes and click OK. We continue through the next section of our form and fill out all the mandatory fields. We can select from the drop down menu if a vaccine was given. Vaccines will populate only if recorded in the patient's chart. In the disease assessment scoring, we can now use the Q-Risk calculator to predict a risk of cardiovascular disease. Patient information is pre-populated from the patient's chart. Lab results will pre-populate if any are recorded in the last three months. In this section, the labs that are mandatory will depend on what diagnosis are recorded for the patient and what type of review. If we have missed any fields, the field required is shown at the bottom of the screen and will show a list of any mandatory fields which are not populated. You can click the field in the list to jump directly to that field. Once all my mandatory fields are completed, I click Save and then Submit. My registration and first annual review have now been submitted. The next review required will be the interim review, which will be at least four months later. The registration screen is displayed and you can record any new diagnosis if required. Now we can complete all our mandatory fields, which are highlighted with the yellow information message. Use the ellipsis button to search for a lab result. Lab results must be within the last three months. 
The mandatory labs required will depend on the diagnosis recorded for the patient. Then we make our way through the rest of the form, filling in all our mandatory fields. The fields required section will let us know if any of our mandatory fields have not been filled in. Once our form is complete, we can click save and submit. Our interim review has now been submitted. The next review required will be the annual review. This is one year after the first review. I am future dating the review for demonstration purposes only. The registration screen is displayed for you to record any additional new diagnosis if required. Then, as with our other examples, we continue by filling out all our mandatory fields. Our fields required will let us know if we haven't filled out any of our mandatory fields. Again, we can use the drop down list to select any field and jump directly to that field. Once our form is complete, we can click save and submit. Our annual review has now been submitted. Use the Claim Tracker by selecting My Control Panel Claim Tracking to view and manage your CDM review and responses. Response messages will be downloaded when you are downloading your lab results from HealthLink.